It's that time of the season when silverware begins to go on the line. It's the penultimate step of the Pig and Whistle Canali Cup, the semi-final from the Brisbane Knights Sporting Complex between the hosts Brisbane Knights from Capital One, who, as we've seen, have been on a giant killing run through the Cup and looking to claim another flight centre Premier League scalp here this evening against Rochdale Rovers with coach Scott McNichol resting several of his players in anticipation of that big match on the weekend that will decide the flight centre Premier League crown against Mitchelton. Anton Shetnan is the referee for this one, assisted by Brody Main and Patrick Dwyer. Rochdale will have first possession. Played long. Knights have come away with it, brought down by Davidge. Now Sadik gets his side the first foul of the evening. Played on by Davidge for his own benefit. Couldn't quite get there in the end. And the assistant on this near side has picked out the free kick. Be taken by the Brisbane Knights dead ball specialist, Reed. Oh, close again, Brisbane Knights. We've seen them capitalise on those well-delivered free kicks by Reed in the past. Aparicio in the Rochdale goal this evening. Going to bounce over the head. Keeper's caught off his line. And Rochdale unable to take advantage. McKinnon. Gets it back a second time. Now angling towards the box. Claims of handball. And the referee in good vicinity to a judge on that one. So Reed tries to curl it in at the near post. Aparicio on hand. Sadik for McKinnon. Right in again was Sadik. And Shaw attempts the overhead over the crossbar as well. Under five minutes to play in this first half. Norris on the right for Rochdale. Gets around Harm in the initial instance. Lofts one high into the box. Rochdale still alive. Park with the turn. Oh, Brisbane, nice defender. Couldn't get a clean foot on it. It's off the woodwork. Nodded in by Tim Morgan. There's some complaints of offside by the Brisbane Knights defenders. But the goal will stand. Let's take a second look at that. So it's Hugo. Now he cuts it back, so there's no issue there. Shizuno, was he in front of that last Brisbane Knights player in Reed? Difficult to tell on that angle. It's probably going to be even at best, but the assistant has ruled the goal will stand. So Rochdale have a 1-0 lead going into second half action. Cameron, once again, off the bench, brought on as a substitute as he was against Turinga last week. We so often see at the Brisbane Knights sporting complex in this tight confine. Long throw-ins into the box, a tactic. Sadik tried to get a shot away. Going to break on the counter for Rochdale. Park, he's got Armstrong to his left. Cameron was calling to it for his right at the feet. And good save from Farquhar. Let's take a look at that at the other end. And yeah, there was a hand on the shoulder from Fellows in the box against Sadik. Shetnan waved the contact away though. Davidge dispossessed. And again it breaks for Rochdale on the counter. Cameron this time. Scott Park, acres of room. Oh, and off the woodwork. They were denied in the first half initially by the woodwork. This time it's the post Rochdale at the other end. Under 10 to play. Through ball for Cameron. Sizes up Farquhar, who had to get the right foot out there at the end, moving the other way. Morgan's hassled by Sadik. Cutting the six yard box. Rochdale player misses him. Another offside call that's coming up for contention. Armstrong. By Harm. 
Ooh, and there's a late challenge in against Armstrong after the whistle had been blown. Free kick will go Roachdale's way. Free kick sent long by Brisbane Knights. And they'll have a free kick themselves, Knights. About 25 yards out from goal as we head towards the end of 90 and now into stoppage time. Free kick's taken, parried down by Aparicio, tucked away. Keys of Bender, is it? Either way, Brisbane Knights have done it again. A late goal to keep a match alive. The free kick was driven in, couldn't be handled by Aparicio. And it's Labenda after David played the short ball on. And we're off to extra time in the semi final. First period. Cameron trying to put his side ahead again. And all cleared off the line was Eaton's shots. They've been riding their luck, Brisbane Knights. The outstretched hand from Farquhar. And his defender helps out. Fellows on at the near post. The save this time from Farquhar. Headed back by Armstrong. That's the end of the first half of extra time. Still locked at one all at the Brisbane Knights Sports Complex. Bringing it into their attacking territory are the Knights, Labenda. Labenda! High over the crossbar midway through the second half of extra time. Three minutes now to play to avoid penalties. Fakening. Target was Cameron. Oh, blocked by the Knights. Park went down looking for the penalty. Not given, Fellows. And defended away. Nervous moments for both sides. Knights with a last minute chance, perhaps. Romano in towards the penalty spot. And Roachdale clear it away. And for the second week in a row, Roachdale are going off to penalties. So the coin toss taking place between Jay Reid and Uyu Nagata. Be Roachdale that have the first chance in the shootout. The guard of the step up to take the first kick. Focal crowd behind the goal. The guard are taking his time. Sizes up the keeper, puts it away. Roachdale successful in the first kick. Here's Davidge. He's using his own delaying tactics. Davidge. Past Aparicio, one all after one. Second kick now for Roachdale. Cameron slides it past the keeper. Now it's Romano for the Knights. Saved by Aparicio. He puts his side ahead in the penalty shootout. Third kick now. Converted by Fellows. And it gives a bit of a send off to the Knights supporters behind the goal. And a very short run up for Short. And Aparicio with the feet saves it. And Roachdale only need to convert this penalty now. And they're through. To the final of the Pig and Whistle Canali Cup. Roachdale win in the penalty shootout. One all at full time and after extra time, it's Roachdale Rovers who defeat Brisbane Knights 4-1 on penalties.